Ah, oh, the quiet and the peace of the dark. Me vibrating at a light grid and into the dark was exactly what I needed in that moment to allow me to truly find who I was. Moving through that grief, moving through my own healing and spirituality crisis, if you will, was getting too much for me. It was too hard. And once I discovered this, this whole new way of understanding or being or existence or ideals, whatever words you want to attach to it, it gave me that space to find my own clarity. And I'm not saying I'm in the dark, like, oh, look at me, I'm in the pits of pits of hell and I'm bringing up all my demons and I'm bringing them all to the surface. However, whilst I was in there, that was exactly what I did. And I had this whole analogy where I actually started creating all these leftover shadows because don't forget I've been doing all this healing for the last few years, so I was pretty damn good. Um... I created these horror characters as representations of any of these leftover shadows and beliefs and stories that I was holding on to because I'd always had this fear of some of these weird freaking horror char characters and I wouldn't watch certain movies because oh, no, I can't watch that. No, that's too scary. So kill two birds with one stone. I created these beliefs and fears based on horror characters. So if you think of a character that scares you, it's like, okay, what do you want to say? What do you want to feel? What What is your purpose? Why am I scared of you? What is that making me feel within myself? So I was allowed to bring all these up. I was allowed to bring all them in and I would sit down and I would talk to these characters and say, well, hey, what's up? What's your problem? Why am I scared of you? What are you trying to achieve? What do I not like about you? And we'd talk it out, we'd hug it out, and we'd become friends. So me being in the dark, I was able to sit with those deepest, darkest shadows of who I am, and I was able to work through whatever it was that wanted to be seen, to be heard, to be, to be felt, and to be expressed so that I could release it and love it and move on to a different place of existing in, in the most authentic version of who I was. And because I wasn't attached to the light group, because I wasn't attached to this oneness of everything, I was on my own, I was in the dark with my dragon, working with my horror characters, allowing those pieces of me to fully be seen. But whilst I was in here and whilst my learning continues, what I realized was is that us being these energetic vibrational frequency versions of self, everything is literally just made up. It's all just a story. It's all a myth. It's all things we choose to believe.